Grant's Getaways is brought to you by Visit Tillamook Coast and KGW. You see bald eagles and golden eagles in their daily routine. It's an age-old predator-prey game amid timeless rimrock country at Lake Billy Chinook near Madras, Oregon. You never know what's going to be going on at one of the viewpoints or at the Overlook Park. A place where three rivers called Metolius, Crooked, and Deschutes merge into a seven-mile-long watery playground. Long a drawing card for eagles. These big escarpments that you see, you, you don't see those everywhere, and they like a certain a certain steepness, and then they got to have some flat ledges on it because you'll see some of them that are literally sheer. They have to have a little bit of a place to start a nest, but it is special. Less than an hour down the Deschutes River, explore a direct route to solitude on a gentle road that winds for more than 40 miles. The lower Deschutes backcountry byway is surrounded by canyon walls that tower above lonesome boaters who own the river this time of year. Many of the columnar basalt cliffs reach hundreds of feet high. He probably went back embedded against the cliff. It's where wildlife biologist Jeremy Thompson watches for movement among the rocks. In the sun, they kind of shine yellow. I've heard them described as bananas, looking for bananas on the hill. But the curve of that horn and the color of it really stands out. The Deschutes River Byway hides big horns, and it takes a keen eye to pick out the wild sheep that blend with the background. Females called ewes gather in small herds. They're pretty gregarious. They like to hang out together throughout the entirety of the year. So you'll find little groups like that. You know, they'll be 10 to 12 generally throughout the summer and the fall. The males called rams are more solitary. Once a ram gets over a year and a half old, I mean, his horns are well bigger than what a ewes will be. So you'll start to see horns that curve way back and much bigger at the base than what you'd see on the females. Oregon's bighorn sheep went extinct in the 1940s from overhunting and disease. But successful reintroduction programs in the 90s restored the Deschutes bighorns, and now nearly 600 live here. If you wish to come and watch, dress warm, don't forget binoculars, and most of all, be sure you bring patience. A lot of people will stop and look and not see them and move on. You know, if you just sit down and watch and look at some of these bigger cliff complexes, eventually they'll be surprised. There'll be sheep in them and they just haven't been able to see them. You will see them down a backcountry by road that's one of the best around. With photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW. Such gorgeous country, and we have all the details on KGW.com. You can also watch Grant's 30-minute show this Saturday afternoon at 4 right here on KGW.